Hi guys, today we're going to look at that trailer for the ZF6 and the Pallium Yu-Yu from Wargaming's official stream on their channel for Legends. I'll link the descriptions below. Enjoy! So that was a trailer guys, if you haven't seen it already, head over to the French Battleship Ship of the Line video by World of Warships Legends channel, I'll link it below. Anyway, so on to the ZF-6, solo HP pool, pretty good for tier 7. The artillery system, you've got one double barrel at the front and then two single, uh, three sorry, three single barrels at the back with a four second reload. Low HG alpha but high AP alpha, you also got a main barrel reload boost, that's important. Pretty decent AA, I would say similar to Fletcher. Um, devastating torpedoes, really bad torpedoes. Uh, 75 knots, 18k alpha, pretty same. Almost similar to you dash, you went with a build on 80 knot torp, 79. Uh, detectability, pretty darn good. Uh, with a build, you can see here, realistically, 4.9 to 5.2 concealment. And it's got anti-air or smoke with a speed boost or main battery booster. On to Emilio. So this is Palomillo for global XP 750,000 for the tier 7 DD. So pretty high HP pool, Tashkent, e e uh, 24, 25k health roughly with a 6 to 60 millimeter plating. That's very important. It could be a Cabaros S sort of gumbo. Above average caliber, 4, triple to double barreled 135s, pretty spicy AP alpha, pretty high HP alpha but a long reload of 10.7. A is pretty decent as well. Um, You've got some pretty nasty torpedoes. They hit hard, 23,700, but you've only got 6 column to range, 67 knots. You've got a 2 minute reload, so that is very important. That's pretty darn lackluster. So you've got to be careful about when you send these, because you only have, you've got a 2 minute reload before you fire them again. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, mobility, really quick. And concealment, 7. It doesn't look that great, but realistically it's 5.3, 5.5, and you've got 46, 47 knots with a speed boost. Now there's smoke generator here. It is a stock smoke, yes, but it could be changed to exhaust smoke. We don't actually know. So that is a consideration. Here's a big sat line of everything we have here. So for the ZF6, you've got 17k health, three, uh, three single barrels and one double barrel, 128s, pretty low alpha, 6% fire chance, but a pretty decent AP alpha is 2.75. Reload 4 seconds with a main battery boost that cuts it down to 2 if you're using it. 35 knots, relatively slow. 8 point rider shift and 6 point side concealment, which is very good for base. Uh, you can get defensive fire or smoke, so you're just going to pick smoke. 
and then speed boost and then main battery reload booster for consumables. Torpedoes, two times over 533s, 18.4k damage, 90 second reload is really good, and 1.8 detectability, which is not bad, 8 km range and 75 knots. So it's 80 knot torps basically. For the Emilio, 24.4k health, I think it's the highest you've got here. 6 to 60 millimeters of armor, so we're going to have some armor here, folks, for the DD. Four double barreled 135s, pretty decent HE alpha, that's basically 50 higher than Tashkent, 9% fire chance, pretty good, and 3000 AP. You're going to get 43.5, sorry, is that 40? Yeah, 43.5 knot speed, 5.3 rudder, and concealment 7, which is not too bad for a gunboat. You have the standard smoke at the minute, and we have the speed boost. We've got three times four by torpedoes to do almost 24k a pop, two minute reload, six kilometer range at 67 knots. Guys, tell me what you think below. What do you think? Do you think both are good? Do you think both are bad? Tell me your thoughts below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.